Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marks Game, and for those of you new to my channel, this is my 335i. Now, when I go to the track or autocross events, um, these cars have a bit of a problem with cooling. So what I want to do today is I want to put an oil cooler on there. Uh, it's still January right now, so nothing's really happened yet. Uh, my first track day this year is going to be in February, so I wanted to start attacking some of the essential problems that I've been having. One of them is that my oil temperature gets pretty hot. Uh, the last few times I went to the track, it was like 100 degrees, and it got way too hot, and so I had to, you know, end my run a little bit early, and I don't want to do that again this year. So I'm going to be installing an oil cooler on there. Now, this oil cooler that I got is going to be a second oil cooler on the system. It's still going to retain the stock one on there and then have a second one on there. So essentially, I'm kind of doubling my oil cooling, which should be efficient enough. Uh, we'll try it out, see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, I can always take out the OEM one and put a bigger secondary one on there. But I wanted to go this route because this one was going to be the easiest, or at least I think it'll be the easiest. So I guess let's go ahead and throw that on there. So this is the oil cooler setup that I'm going to use. Now, it is a pretty simple setup, and I'm hoping that it's going to be quite easy to install. I've seen a couple videos now. shouldn't be too bad. Now, that what this is is this block is going to mount to the bottom of my oil cooler, or not my oil filter housing, and it's going to go on the bottom there. And then I'm going to have the two lines that are going to come out, and then they're going to mount into the top of the oil cooler, which is going to be mounted behind the kidney grills, which there's a lot of airflow in front of the kidney grills. Here, let me take a look here. I go. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to take this oil cooler, and this oil cooler is going to be mounted back behind here, and then that should give it enough airflow. And then that should give it enough airflow that way. I can have some nice efficient cooling and my oil won't get too hot. I won't have to stop racing. All right, so obviously the first thing I'm gonna have to do if I wanna put my oil cooler there is I'm gonna have to take off the front bumper. Once the front bumper is taken off, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount it in there. They don't really give me any hardware, but I've seen a few people that mount it to the brace that goes across the front. I'll show you once I get the bumper off. All right, so as you can see, I got the front bumper off, sitting right on the ground over there. Hey, Moose. So what I gotta do with this thing now is, if you take a look here, there's this little box in the way. I'm gonna have to cut this out. I'm just gonna cut the little top part here and cut it out on the bottom. And that will give us enough room that we can mount our little cooler back there. Um, right now it doesn't fit, as you can see. I can kind of mount a little bit in there, but it's, it doesn't fit back in there where you need it to be. So once I cut this box out, I'll be able to mount the cooler back inside here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run all the hoses up through that hole right there. All right, so I've already gone and I've cut this thing out, made a little bit of room. Uh, I tried to go through and clean up the edges with a knife, as you saw in my video, and make it look kind of nice. So now what we can do is we can put that in there. You guys can get an idea of what it's going to look like. I might mount it a little bit closer to the side if I can. I guess that's probably as far over. So I'll probably mount it over a little bit to this side just because that's where the hole of the kidney grill is, is right there. That way I get a little bit more airflow. I won't get quite as much right there, but if I can get a majority of it out there. But I was also thinking that if I mount it in the middle, when I put the bumper on, it's going to block a little bit of like right here. So 
That might be better. I got to see how long my hoses are once I can get the hoses mounted in there and figure out how I'm going to mount this. I think that I'm going to do some kind of mount where I can mount it to this piece here. This piece is really solid. So I'm going to probably drill some holes and bolt it to the bottom down here. And then for the top part, sorry, there we go. For the top part, I'm probably going to make a couple brackets. They're going to come up from these mounts and then possibly mount to the bottom of this piece here. All right, so a quick little update of what I'm going to do. I've decided that I'm going to mount it into the middle. Now, as you can see right there, there's, I put the little rubber thing back on here. Uh, it's actually a lot of rubber thing and then this is plastic. And the grills really aren't that big of a space in the middle. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this part and I'm going to cut a hole here in the middle. That way I can still keep the, you know, I want to keep this on here. That way all the air is routed to this area. And then if I just cut out the center part, it'll blow onto the center piece that is, you can't really tell there in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this little part here. I'm probably going to leave the sides on that way it stays structural, but I'll cut out this little piece here in the middle. That way there's airflow to the oil cooler right there in the middle of the. All right. So I've cut the little center piece out. Uh, it does look like I probably could have left this right here just fine and you know, leave that there. Uh, I might cut this part off a little bit, make it a little bit more square. But as you can see, you can mostly see get to all of the oil cooler now. That way, you know, when you're driving down the road, all the air is funneled right there to the front. So everything up front of there will be nice and cooled. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to trim off this a little bit now that I got it on here. But for the most part, like I like the way it's looking. All right, so I ran into something I didn't expect to run into. Now when the latch closes, or when you close the hood, I want to check this before, that is right there. And so I can't mount it as far forward as I wanted to mount it because it's going to hit that. So I got to figure out how to mount it and put it almost flush with the AC condenser back there. And once I do that, I feel that that would be a nice location. You can see I, I've already cut out the little spots that I was going to cut out. I don't know if I'll see if I cover that back up, but I'll probably just leave it alone. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. But now I just got to figure out how I'm actually going to mount the cooler to the, the body. And that way it'll have a permanent place on my car. All right, guys. So it's been a couple weeks now since I started this oil cooler install. Uh, I was having a little bit of difficulty with it and I'll explain it in just a second. But Thomas got a little excited and he decided to put some lights in here. Right, nice and bright. We can see everything. Um, we do need to mount some on this side of the shop. We'll probably do that. At a later date, we'll have to go get some more and make it look nice in here, you know, so I can see. But thank you, Thomas. You're the man. Now, on the update of my oil cooler install, I had a little bit of a problem. I have it mounted now, but I couldn't find anywhere on YouTube where anybody was doing the same setup that I was doing. So I didn't have anything to go off of. So I had to figure this all out by myself. So it took a couple weeks, you know, randomly here and there, trying something different. And what I found on the internet was there was a few people that they would put the oil cooler in here and then they would just leave it hanging there and you'd have the hoses come up through here. But I didn't want to have the hoses come through here because I wanted to retain the factory little air box thing that goes over there. And if I took those out, then, you know, that goes away. Uh, the other one was that they would have a little mounting bracket that would come down here and would go all the way across and then it would mount there onto the sides. And it's not going to work for me because I don't know if you can see very well, but there's nothing flat and there's nothing to even mount to on these side. So that, that didn't work for me either. So what I ended up doing is that I built these two little brackets out of aluminum down here. And it's pretty much just, you know, inch and a quarter wide aluminum flat stock. Uh, I bent these two to make little brackets and then I mounted the bottom here. And then I used a couple pieces of all thread that went up and I screwed it to the plastic up here. And this is a really solid mounted, you know, oil cooler now. And just for the test, bam. So everything clears in there. This clears and it'll cover up just a little bit of the condenser there so that we'll have a loop, still have our AC going and I'll be able to cool the oil. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to mount these oil cooler lines to the oil cooler filter housing. I think I have it figured out, but I got to try it out and see how it goes. 
All right, so I wanted to explain how this, the whole adapter thing was gonna work. Um, this is our little adapter. And if you take a look at it, it's just a little square block. I've already made a little room here. So this is actually gonna go underneath the oil filter housing here. And it's gonna plug into the bottom there. And then it's gonna run a bolt to where the old ones are. And this is the old oil cooler line right here. And then that's just gonna go on the bottom. So how this works is that, there we go. So they have two passages. One passage goes straight through and that's gonna go to one oil line. And then this one actually comes down and then comes out this line, goes to the cooler and then comes back through this line and then down to the old oil cooler. That way you're actually running through two oil coolers and it's not like it's two separate systems going. So it's kind of like one separate, one whole system with two coolers in it. So theoretically it's twice as much cooling. Uh, I wanted to also go this route because this way I had, you know, twice as much cooling, but I also have an extra cooler full of oil. So Theoretically, I have an extra cord in the system, so it makes everything last a little bit longer. It makes the oil life a little bit better. All right, so I finally got the oil cooler fully installed. As you can see here, I got it mounted, and it's nice and solid. And what I did with the oil lines is I got them running through here, and then I just cut a hole right there for this line to come out, and then for the other line, I got another hole right here cut, and I zip-tied it in place so they won't rub on anything and nothing's gonna rub through. And then I just had it come underneath the headlight, go into the little cavity here. And then it came up right behind the headlight unit and then plugged into my little adapter. The adapter was a little bit of a pain in the butt to screw in there. Uh, I did have an AC line that comes across here. I had to relocate that because it was in the way, I needed to make some room. So, but I had a little bit of a problem. On uh, my upper radiator hose, there's a little nipple here. And this line decided it wanted to break off. All right, so next video, I'm gonna have to fix that coolant leak. Uh, put the, I already got the parts on order. Once they get here, I'll fix that. And then I'll be able to run it and I'll see if there's any oil leaks in there and make sure it drives around and does okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, the next time I post a video, YouTube will let you know. Also, I'm on Instagram and I post there from time to time. I'll leave my name down below. Thank you guys, I'll see you next video.